Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower Page with myself, Thomas Janak. My guest this month is Charlie Evans. Hello. Normally I leave a link in the description box, but uh, thus far Charlie hasn't got her own page. It'll come. So it will probably be added in, a, in another uh, video, another month, if that makes sense. We're looking at the month of July 2022 and we're looking at the sign of the maiden, Virgo. And um, what we will do is we will separate areas here a little bit so you get more out of the reading, if that makes sense. We will look at the overall energy for the month of July 2022 for your very sign, Virgo. Before we then go into your emotional core, look at if there's healing that can come in, maybe stuff that can leave, maybe there's new love coming in, or maybe the relationship you're in could be, has to be altered or looked at, if that makes sense, all this kind of stuff. I don't know what happens because I only know when, when, when the guides talk, I only work here. <laughs> and then um, we will look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July. 2022 and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially um so yeah blah 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 um i always rush that part a little bit because we have so much to say um so now we're looking at the overall energy for the sign of virgo for the month of july 2022 uh, yeah so this the card you've got is soul expansion um so this is about your consciousness and your knowledge um, growing so if you work with your chakras it's a really good time for you to work with your third eye and your crown chakra um, basically means things are starting to come together for you you're starting to understand a lot more in your life starting to understand why things are being connected so my ass is falling asleep <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you, you probably hear me being like this it's just my, my ass is falling asleep so, sorry don't mind me sorry, continue <laughs> carry on no, don't really. um, so yeah just make sure that you're embracing that that you're listening to those signs listening to those messages that if you can make any connections between things in your life that you're doing that so that it all ties in together for you because when we're regrouping scattered energies it means that our focus is a lot better and that we've just got a lot more enjoyment because our focus is more rounded and whole really so just make sure that you're listening to your intellect and your intuition this month thank you so much and this actually moves uh, easily into your emotional core your emotional core um, energetically speaking is called perspective so what that means is that when you are looking into what's happening on an emotional level and in your case in this this month's virgos i'm not being shown healing i'm being shown about um relationships that either exist or for those of you who are maybe on the verge and on the verge is an interesting topic or concept because on the verge doesn't mean that you know who the next partner is on the verge could also mean that you decide you're on the verge to deciding after all the shit that happened to me i'm gonna trust again right and you are a shapeshifter energetically speaking which is the depiction here and what the guides are saying to you is they're not expecting you to change for anyone but to go with the flow because what i'm getting is this is about love this is not about healing and what i'm getting is that there are actually things uh, virgos that you haven't quite worked through and you haven't quite let go right welcome to the club <laughs> most people are damaged goods if that makes sense and we all bring a bring a suitcase of shit to the next relationship right i probably should write that in my depiction uh, uh, or, or you know moderate use of swear words <laughs> anyway, the point they're making is don't think that you can save yourself from manifesting just what you want. If there's anything you still need to learn, the universe will send you a person that is better than the last one. That makes sense, right? And still has to trigger whatever sits inside you. The point the guides are making is because you're a shapeshifter and your energy is about perspectives, is if you just look at the person detached and say like okay I, I can feel already what you can bring to me and to my life right if that makes sense because we're not looking for anybody to make you complete you are complete right anything else is so to speak a bonus but what the what the the point is this is all about love and this is all about making sure because virgo is is a sign that doesn't that doesn't really cave in under pressure ding 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 diddly ding under pressure <laughs> i'm not right <laughs> you should probably know this already the point is what i'm getting is um 
if you are thinking about um, trusting again, if you are in a relationship and you are watching this um, reading, maybe it's time to just talk about the things that aren't working in the relationship. And you are the shapeshifter, which means you're not going to hit someone over the head with, with stuff. You just find a way to, to, to phrase it nicely, because that's what a shapeshifter basically means, right? If that makes sense. So ultimately, this is about new love and about rekindling the love you already have to turn this into new love, if that makes sense, right? I'm going to spare you singing new love by Depeche, promise, <laughs> right? Um, but that's, that's all I got for you, right? So this is not about you healing this month. This is about you going forward. And, and also, you know, sort of use, use summer. So it seems to be much easier because, you know, in winter, everybody's bloody freezing all the time. And it's much harder to actually be nice, <laughs> isn't yeah. it? So, yeah, use the summer for you. And now we're looking at opportunities um, as they present themselves to you in the month of July 2022. Now, Virgos, please remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it does, that's awesome. Please share this video widely because you have no idea who else could be uh, affected by it and we want this uh, channel to grow, right? Thank you so much. And now we're looking at opportunities for the sign of Virgo for the month of July 2022. Uh, yeah, so the opportunities, we've got the animal of the dog. So the dog basically gives us a message of your loyalty is being placed in the wrong place it's been misplaced basically that you're giving and giving and giving and not receiving the energy back so in terms of money just make sure that if you're lending out money to people and they're not giving you back this is a time to stop this is a time to stop being so generous and focus on yourself and not everyone else so make sure that you're not treating people too much that don't get me wrong you can treat who you like if it if you've got a Cancer or a Leo friend this month that you want to treat for their birthday, go ahead. But make sure that you're really having a look to see where you're donating your money and it's not serving you any purpose. Especially if you donate to charity, which is really good, but you know it's not a good charity. And you think, oh, my money's not going in the best place. Just make sure that you're having, bring out that analytical side to your Virgo. Just have a look and see where's my money going. And is this the best place for it? Okay, thank you so much. And um, if you subscribe, you will not miss out on these videos in the coming months. Right? And um, yeah, see you then. Bye-bye.